What if all the different apps and tools you used for work could talk to each other? What if you could automate processes across completely different applications? Well, Power Automate lets you do just that. Power Automate is Microsoft's no-code automation platform that lets organizations connect their favorite tools to automate repetitive tasks, all without knowing a single line of code. For example, let's say your salesperson just closed the deal in your CRM. What if your recognition software could automatically send them a badge congratulating them? Or a customer success rep just finished a call with a customer? What if your feedback tool could send them a feedback template automatically? With all the different connection options available in Power Automate, all of that and so much more is possible. The sky is literally the limit. And in this video, I'm going to show you just how you can use Power Automate and an HR software like TeamFlect to automate certain HR processes to keep your employees engaged. So let's get right to it. Let's walk through how you can connect TeamFlect with other applications using Power Automate. Inside Power Automate, head over to My Flows and then click New Flow. This will give you plenty of different options. But if we're talking about different automation scenarios, let's select Automated Cloud Flow. We'll create a scenario where if a task is completed inside Microsoft Planner, TeamFlect will automatically send a recognition to an employee. So we're giving our flow a name, and then we're searching for triggers. Now, we will be adding a trigger right here. Now we'll click Add Trigger and select the application that we want to trigger this automation. We have plenty of different options here, but we're selecting Microsoft Planner. And right off the bat, Power Automate will suggest that us different triggers within the app. We'll select when a task is completed. Now let's sign in. We are giving the group ID associated with this plan inside Planner. This is our group, Team Flect. And we're also selecting the plan ID. This is the one we use for our marketing team, so marketing plan. Now that we have our trigger set, we will select the action that this trigger will trigger. Now we're hitting the plus icon and then we're looking for Team Flect. And this will give us all the different actions associated with the Team Flect app. And we can see that we have so many different options. We can automatically create a new goal, send a new recognition, send feedback requests. But for our intents and purposes, let's click create a new recognition. So once the task is completed inside Planner, we will automatically send a recognition with Team Flect. So under advanced parameters, we're selecting all the parameters associated with the recognition. Then we will select the recognition sender. In this case, the recognition will be sent from Miriam. Now, who will receive this recognition? Since we want this recognition to be sent to everyone who completes their task, we're clicking the lightning icon and selecting the item inside Microsoft Planner that says the ID of the user whom this task was assigned to. Then we will select which recognition badge we want to send in Team Flick. This is the great job badge. We don't want this recognition to be private, so we're selecting no, and then we're pasting the message we want with this recognition. Then I'll be clicking change connection, and then I'll select add new connection. Once I do that, it will give me options for a connection name and an API key. But where do I get this API key? I get it from the TeamFlect Admin Center. Inside TeamFlect Admin Center, I will be going into integrations and API, API keys, and then I'll create a new API key. I'll click create new key, give my key a name, so we'll call it the Power Automate key, and then I'll click add. And there's my API key. All I have to do is copy it. Then I'll head straight back to Power Automate. I'll give my connection a name. Let's call it TeamFlect and then I'll paste my API key. Once I'm done, I'll click Create New, and then I'll save this automation. Now let's see if our automation flow actually works. We'll head into Microsoft Planner, where we have a task. We will complete it. And now that our task is complete, let's head over to Team Flect. And we can see that we just received a recognition, the recognition that we created, the automation scenario we created inside Power Automate. And if you want to see the history of this automation scenario running, you can click all runs inside Power Automate and do just that. And that's about it. 
But that about brings us to the end of this video. What did you think? What else would you like to do with Power Automate? Just let me know in the comments. Guys, we release helpful Microsoft content like this one every single week. Subscribe so you don't miss any of it. And if you want to try the highest rated performance management solution in the Microsoft Teams App Store, TeamFlect, you can always click the link in the description. Bye-bye.